हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिसेज शैलजा दुड्डी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द रिएक्शंस ऑफ द कनेक्टेड बॉडीज एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स विल एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द इक्विलिब्रियम एंड द स्टूडेंट्स विल एबल टू कैलकुलेट द फोर्सेज प्रेजेंट इन द गिवन मेम्बर here in this figure we can see p and q are the forces acting on the body and r will be the resultant of this force p and q e is the equilibrium force which will keep the body is in equilibrium so the equil e is the equilibrium force which is equal and collinear but which will act in the opposite direction to the resultant force okay. so the equilibrium is applicable to the those system of forces whose the resultant action is zero so that is e is equal to r the analytical conditions of the equilibrium that is algebraic sum of all the forces acting on the body is zero is the law called as force law and the moment law means the algebraic sum of the moment of all the forces about any point is zero is called as the moment law of equilibrium so these are the analytical conditions of the equilibrium that is sum of all horizontal components is zero and sum of all vertical component is zero and the sum of all moment is equal to zero so these are the four steps to determine the forces present in the given member identify the contact surfaces draw the free body diagram apply the conditions of the equilibrium that is we can apply the lamis theorem also as well as the static conditions of the equilibrium and find out the unknown forces here in this figure they have shown the two cylinders which are having the weight of 1200 newton and the 800 newton are resting in a trench we have to find out the reactions at the contact surfaces a b c and d okay so we have to find out the reaction at this point a the surface point b between the two spheres point c as well as point d now we will see how to find out this reactions okay now we have to find out the reactions at contact surface a i will call it as r a at c <coughs> at d and the contact between two spheres is reaction r b okay so here first we have to draw the free body diagram so for sphere 1 the free body diagram that is w is acting towards the downward here the reaction b and it is reaction a then for second sphere the weight is acting in the downward direction reaction from this vertical support c and here it is reaction from this support d and here it will be reaction r b okay now they have mentioned the radius of each sphere means diameter of the first sphere is given as 300 mm so radius will be 150 mm for sphere 1 it is radius is 100 mm okay so if i join two centers so how much it will be 200 plus 150 we have to find out this inclination this theta okay so here we will get the triangle like this we have to find out this theta here it is 250 that is radius of first and second sphere and here this horizontal distance is we know that is 200 mm because the width of trench is given as 450 mm so if i subtract the radius of the first and second sphere from this uh, 450 mm we will get this horizontal distance as 200 mm so i will calculate this theta is equal to cos inverse of 200 divided by 
15. Okay. Now this theta 1 we will get 36.87 degree. Now I will apply the Lamis theorem for this PR1. So if I apply the Lamis theorem for this PR1, we will get the weight is acting to the downward direction. Here it is reaction Ra and here it will be reaction Rb. Okay, so the inclination of Rb is 36.87 degree. So I will write 800 divided by sine 180 minus 36.87 Ra divided by sine 36.87 plus 90 degree is equal to Rb divided by sine 90. So from this equation we will get Ra is equal to 1066.7 Newton and Rb is equal to 1333.3 Newton. Now for sphere B we are having four number of forces. If I will draw the rough diagram this reaction Rd, reaction Rb, here it is Rc and the weight W is acting towards the downward. Okay, So, here I, we have to apply the equilibrium condition. So, first I will apply summation f of y is equal to 0. So, we will get the equation that is minus 1200 plus Rd sin 45 minus Rb sin 36.87 is equal to 0. So, from this equation if we put the value of Rb we will get Rd is equal to 2828.4 Newton. Then summation f of x is equal to 0. So, we will get here Rb cos 36.87 plus Rd cos 45 minus rc is equal to 0. From this equation we will get rc is equal to 3066.7 Newton. Likewise we have to find out the unknown forces of the given force system. These are the references considered for the study. Thank you.